previously on FNAF Unsolved. June 26th of an unknown year, five children suddenly vanish at the same location. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Freddy's has a lot more history than you think. Before Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was Freddy Bear's family diner, a small girl named Charlotte was said to have been last seen outside of the establishment crying before her mysterious death a few meters away. Circus Baby lures Elizabeth in with the ice cream before a claw fires out of her stomach, eating her alive. Remnant. It's something that William Afton worked extremely hard on. The thing that makes the animatronics more lifelike. The thing that powers animatronics at night. The thing that makes them go savage. But to understand what Remnant truly is, we have to look at the workings of Afton Robotics. This week on FNAF Unsolved, we search far and wide for the true lost identity of Michael Afton, William's missing son, and also the missing, rejected Funtime animatronic that changed the story for eternity. Welcome back to FNAF Unsolved. Hopefully you enjoyed the first episode of the season, featuring Tia, who knew nothing about the games. This week, however, we are being joined by the one, the only, Warlord Suspect. Hi, or something. <laughs> okay, uh, the viewer's got no context, but uh, I told him to say hi or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, from my understanding, you've been very in and out of the FNAF franchise, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, a guy, I got kind of fed up uh, with getting nowhere in the lore and just too much information. And um, yeah, but I think I'm back now. <laughs> That's so funny. I always come back. <laughs> anyway, you know what else is back? No. Uh, the It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> the FNAF quiz is back, and I'm here to tell you the results from Ozone's second FNAF quiz. Here goes. So, we've actually got a three-way tie for second, and a two-way tie for, thir for, for first. <laughs> In second place, with seven points each, is the following. Inky Ink, Daniel, and Lord Cringe. And the winners with eight points are... Just imagine I'm doing the drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell it. The, the drum rolls get worse every episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> the winners are Minister Pancakes and the Robot 13. Uh, I know you're both on the Discord, which by the way, you can join in the description below. Congrats on the runners up, and remember, you can check out my weekly quiz on the website below. By the way, yeah. Uh, how did I do? Oh, uh, shit. William Afton, founder of Afton Robotics and co founder of Fazbear Entertainment. He experimented with remnant, children's souls, and animatronics that were designed to kill. However, aside from his mental problems, he is a family guy with an unknown partner. Afton has three children. Firstly, the crying child. This kid, that always appears to be upset about something, was the victim to Fredbear in 1983. What we don't know is whether his soul now possesses an animatronic. You said next to nothing and it feels like I'm getting some sort of FNAF PTSD. <laughs> Why does that sound like the title of a game? FNAF PTSD. <laughs> yeah, seriously though, but... The memories are all like flooding back now. Yeah, happy memories or sad little depressing memories of FNAF lore and theories going back and forth. Yeah, that one. Afton's eldest child, the Foxy Mask Billy, was the one responsible for the bite of 83. He has an adoration for the Foxy animatronic, always traumatizing his brother, making him jump. And finally, his only daughter, Elizabeth Afton, who was unfortunate enough to be slaughtered by Circus Baby a creation of Afton Robotics. So we have the Aftons, a small family of four, with two innocent children and two murderers. Today, we are going to focus on the lost identity of Michael Afton. Perhaps he was an untold child in the family, or perhaps he was one of the boys. Michael Afton plays a huge part in the story of Freddy's. He was the one to discover the secrets of Circus Baby's entertainment and rentals and find his sister. But not exactly everything went to plan. Within the depths of Afton's secret facility was a small room called the Scooping Room. If you remember, the Scooper was a machine that injected Remnant into a metallic body. But Michael went too far. 
when you hear this cooper right you'd expect it to be like an automatic ice cream vendor or something <laughs> yeah or like a digger or something yeah he could have he could have called it something cooler like the injector or something <laughs> yeah the remnant device mark 2000 <laughs> it's a it's a bit clickbait if you ask me whilst michael was working in the establishment there was one entity present that never caught michael's sight they called him enard an amalgamation of all other phantom animatronics built out of wires a strange wall mask and parts of each robot including the eyes he tricked michael into believing he was his sister before scooping him, injecting remnant into his body before falling unconscious it's when he woke up he realized that things weren't natural he felt more robotic more sturdy every day until one day it all came out and what was left of michael was his rotting purple body How does one even become purple? <laughs> uh, well, purple is a mix of red and blue. So <laughs> yeah, well that explains it. Well, what explanation do you have? Um well, I guess he's just No. What was released from his body was Enard, a monster trying to disguise himself as a human, living up to William Afton's dream. of realistic animatronics. If you wanted to make his robot creations more realistic, you could have just made his code better or gone to college for robotics or something. Mm, it's true. It's like trying to learn French in Germany. <laughs> This, however, is the last we heard of the name Michael Afton. From there, he most likely changed his name to cover himself. He couldn't have passed away because the effects of the remnant inside of his body made him stronger and debatably immortal however who truly is the identity of michael afton is he actually another child with no family records or could he be the name behind the crying child or the foxy mouse brother to ensure this case is not biased we will give you both theories with evidence and points contradicting them it is your job in the comments to suggest your theories and discuss this matter Theory number 1 places Michael Afton in the hands of the crying child. We found a logbook of Michael Afton's that was written years after the incident. This shows he is still alive. However, he drew nightmarish animatronics that crying child is the only one to have seen around the bite of 83. The theory implies that he survived the bite of 83 and it's possible he was put back together by his father using his own remnant. However, this is where the bigger theory about this big theory comes in. It's possible that not only was the Foxy brother responsible and the crying child the victim for the bite of 83, but that they were also that for the bite of 87. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you mean the brother tried to kill him twice? Yeah. I mean, he was a bully. He was also an edgy teenager. Were you one of those edgy teens? Um, well, I wanted to become one but uh no what about you nah i was just a nerd just 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 a nerd firstly foxy was the brother's favorite of the bunch this is the same as phone guy so it's possible that they are actually the same person in one location we find out that his name is fritz smith and he takes over jeremy fitzgerald's night shift the day of the bite of 87 If Michael changed his name to Jeremy, maybe his brother was trying to lead him into a trap that would finally lead him to his death. However, he is immortal, so it doesn't work, and Fritz could be framed for not only trying to murder his brother once, but twice. There are still a few things that don't quite add up. 
What kind of person would the older brother have to be to attempt murder to his brother twice? All he does is torment him. Is it really plausible that the foxy-headed bully would try and bully to his death? Also, it is known that Fritz Smith got fired for tampering with the animatronics and odour, just as we heard Mike Schmidt did in the other location. But if they were truly the same people, it wouldn't make sense, because Phone Guy would be talking to himself at night. Finally, it's hard to believe that a small child survived the bite of 83 in the first place. There's a recording of his flatline, so in order for this theory to be correct, he would have had to come back to life, and that is nearly impossible. I'm curious, in what way would you want to die the most? Do you think it'd be quick and harmless or slow and painful? Probably quick and harmless. Yeah? In, in what kind of way would you want to die? Yeah, I would say by a scooper. Yeah, that's quick and harmless. I don't know if I would want to die in like the best manner or in a really stupid, funny way. I'm thinking maybe I could walk off the edge of the world. The, the world is in flat Udumbo. Explain Minecraft then. Udumbo. The other explanation for the identity of Michael Afton is if he was instead the Foxy Mask brother. Michael could have also been Mike Schmidt, who sees various hallucinations of Golden Freddy, matched with the words, it's me. If the crying child died and possessed Fredbear who becomes Golden Freddy, the words, it's me, make sense, as it would be his murdered brother getting his own back. Also, in the survival logbook mentioned earlier, Michael has written down that a child has tripped and fell on Freddy's teeth. It wasn't our fault. Our being the group of bullies who witnessed the bite of 83 defending themselves. That includes Michael. However, one big problem with this theory is the fact that Cassidy, one of the missing children, is the soul inside of Golden Freddy. So it doesn't make sense that both of them would take the same animatronic. It's one or the other. Is it William Afton versus his cursed eldest son? Or is it Afton trying to protect himself from the son that was battered by his inventions? With two brothers, a missing mother, and a missing identity of Michael Afton, this case remains unsolved. <laughs>